Welcome back to another video. Intro we filmed in the field did not work out. Audio wasn't very good, but here we are in North Dakota. This video was filmed in Minnesota. We just got back from the weekend. We went down there, went pigeon hunting, and we set up a nice little spread. We went down to the farm that we've hunted in the past, and pretty fun. Hunted there a few days in a row. Shot some pigeons, but we'll get into this video. We uh, we got northwest winds, so we're gonna be uh, crashing a little bit. Decoys, I don't know if you can see them, but they're right there. We got these two dove flyers and like four standing pigeon full bodies. But yeah, like that said, we come here last year. There wasn't that much pigeons that we saw, but they just kept coming out of nowhere. So, I mean, I probably shot about 50 out of here. There's probably 20, 25 that sleep here, so. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys drop a sub. We're gonna try to be posting a lot more videos. Uh, last year, we were just really picky on what we post on YouTube, but we're just gonna try to post everything we do now, so. Hit that subscribe button. Hey, you got a pitch coming. Here he comes. So I, uh, I figured I'd use the 20 gauge on just singles and pairs or whatever because it's a pump, youth. But uh, one shot, one bird so far. Not bad. One pitch down, another decoy up. Bees. But I got buckshot. Yeah, I probably don't use that. Yeah. All right, well, I'm gonna take a quick shower when I get home, so it does on over. All righty, well, well, we'll kill him. Yeah, I got one so far with the 20, taking one shot. What color? What color? Yeah. Pigeon colored? Like a gray one, a white one, a blue one. A normal colored one? So gray. Yeah. Shitty. Alright, well, I'm gonna get the fucker season. Alright. Alright, see you in a bit. See ya. Well, the sun is uh, going down. We got cloud cover coming in. Uh, we're deciding to get Dustin's A frame. And uh, we've been noticing the pigeons have been going straight over the past year. Well, the ones we've been seeing, they've all been kind of having the same flight path. And then there's another farm mile. I don't know, southwest, east, southeast, that come over to here to feed at night. So it'd be perfect for the wind direction. They'd come over the tree line right in front, and then they should come into us, hopefully. But I'm gonna get some stubble, and yeah, I'll go back to you guys once we got the A frame up. Well, it works. <laughs> Doing it nice. Got the goods. He exploded. Thanks. mini ripper she hasn't missed yet today well we're wrapping up tonight three page three page uh, I'm gonna go out tomorrow Tanner wants to go out and dust some Michael fishing or pigeon hunt but oh Tanner you're going well oh I'm definitely going pigeon hunting go on, looks, grind em. looks like we'll be back out tomorrow so forecast is looking pidgey so there's only one but yeah I'll see you guys tomorrow the burps here Carter's here what are we doing? Brooks? Trying a different farm. There's a bunch of pigeons that sit inside that little shed there. We've hunted here before, but waiting to just talk to the landowner quick. But when they fly out from here, you can just shoot them, whatnot. I don't know if we're going to set up here or not, but. Ah, 
Where is she? Brooks, come here. So this is the new pop. Brooks, come here. Come here. So she's in an American lab. We got her, I got her out of a kennel in North Dakota, Tower City. Venture bound gun dogs, great place. Recommend to get a dog there, but we're gonna see if she's gun shy today with the good old Pidge. I'm trying to figure out how to get these out of here. They just keep flying from uh, side to side. They're coming across. Yeah. I need to find like a rock. Hey, yeah. I think we're gonna open these big doors and then these ones, so then they all just fly out of it. It's gonna be mayhem, but Tanner got one. Well, uh, I think we're just gonna head out of here and go sit back at the farm we were at yesterday and just enjoy the day while it's nice out. These pigeons are just not coming out of here. Have to come back here another day with the pelican, but get back to you guys once we're there. All right, so uh, that farm that we were at yesterday, they're bailing uh, all the hay. So we uh, found a new spot, got permission on it, and there's I don't know, we can't really make a number on how many are here, but we've probably seen a good 20, 30, and who knows how many are in the barn and the silo. So we're gonna set up uh, the A-frame and what we got, and see if we can't pen out a few here. The pigs are in that silo, the barn. We're gonna be setting up right here. We got an east wind, so it's going this way. And we've seen that they've been landing in this dirt, probably getting gravel or whatnot. So we're gonna put the A-frame just right in there. And pound them. It is so hot out today. One? Yeah. Got one down. Don't do it. Are you good? Okay. Pigeon. Double band. <laughs> oh. Uh, what he was down here detaching his trailer, and a pigeon decided to come literally right in. And he was over there. It was over here, so I shot it straight off this end. And I just went out and picked it up, and I guess she's banded. AU 2016. So I'm assuming that's August 2016 on that one. And it has another band that I'm not sure what it's for. I assume it's probably for the race. So it was a racing pigeon. But yeah, I wouldn't have expected that one to have a band. It's just kind of a normal looking pigeon. <laughs> but that's pretty cool. Also, that was with the uh, the 20 gauge. So yeah. What? God, I'm terrible. I should just go home at this point. Go get your band, Dustin. <laughs> God, dude, I'm. <laughs> I let you have three. Shots. I hit, dude. I hit one on my second shot earlier, and now I just can't hit anything. We're moving the set up here. It's gonna rain here shortly, so we're kind of hustling. It's not supposed to rain for too long, but we're gonna. Completely uh, switch the A-frame, so we're gonna be facing the field instead of the alfalfa field, and uh, hopefully that works better. We had flock like five that looked at us, but oh, dookie! My God, you in a bad shot. <laughs> I'm 
nice. That dude, one could finally. Be handed. It's normal looking. Finally, dude. <laughs> it took me so much. Alright, these ones. He landed right where he needs to be. Yeah, he did. Get him. Yes. Ground pound him. It's starting to rain here, so I think we're going to sit in the truck and wait it out a little bit. Oh, three coming supposed straight to ahead. pass. Three, three straight but ahead. We got three straight ahead. Um, my the camera's ball. getting wet. We found out the pigeon was banded in Wisconsin. Let's make this to focus. By Rock River Racers. Jeff Murray. If you're watching this, Jeff Murray. I shot your pigeon. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> It's done raining. It's time to get back out there and grind them. So when we got here, we originally saw pigeons down here in this low spot, and uh, we didn't. We just thought we could do it up there. So we set our decoys out, and they weren't responding to it too well. So we're just gonna move them down here, like they were originally, and. Hopefully we can get them. Oh. Come, these three are gonna come right in. Got three so far. Oh, I'm reloaded. Yeah. Well, we're wrapping up this this video. Tanner shot that last one, and then Deucedorf went and got it back in the grass. Yep. But I think on the day we had probably like ten pigeons in that double band from Wisconsin. You guys know Jeff. Sent him a, a tag to this video. But me and Dustin and maybe Tanner will be out here tomorrow somewhere pigeon hunting while we're down back in Lakeville. There's nothing else to do really. If you're new to the channel and you made it through, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, post notifications, turn, on, turn them on, and make sure you guys like the vid. Peace.